Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a try on haul on some of my favorite cozy winter coats and jackets. These are the seven statement, not statement, staple coats and jackets in my closet. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. All right, so I wore basic top and bottom by purpose because the whole focus, it needs to be on the coats and jackets, if you know what I'm saying. So it won't be a full on outfit but you get an idea. I'm gonna start from lightweight jackets. For some of you guys, if you live in somewhere like California, Texas, which you barely get any winter, and then moving on to my heavier coats, for those of you who live in Colorado, Canada, anywhere with snow and freezing cold weather. Okay, so my first item is Brandy Melville. Uh, <laughs> my favorite corduroy jacket so whenever I'm in SoCal or somewhere that it's not real like winter like it's in mid 60s I can definitely wear a thicker turtleneck and wear this over not oversized but it is kind of like a boyfriend style corduroy jacket it's a bummer jacket you can also wear this and carry it over to spring season if you live in somewhere with colder weather in spring and you can wear it in fall, winter in my case. Yeah, this is a great option. It's a California based brand, so you won't uh, see any other boutiques in any other um, states, but you can buy all their items online and they are pretty affordable. I would say this jacket runs for like $35. I'm gonna move on to leather jackets. They are timeless. You can have them for many years. You can hand them down to your daughters, anyone you want to, and it's not something that it's gonna go out of style. This Burberry leather jacket this is a calf skin jacket um you can wear it with mom jeans the color is perfect it's a luggage color but it's very fragile so if you were somewhere like london let's say canada seattle anywhere that rains and snow a lot i wouldn't recommend any calf skin or suede like jacket because the rain and snow will leave marking on your leather jacket and it's gonna ruin your leather jacket. The thing is, I live in Texas, we get winter cold weather like for two weeks and then we're over it so I can definitely wear this almost all year round except summertime because, <sighs> yeah, because you usually die in summer in Texas. What I love about this jacket, it's very cute very understated no logo still looks expensive good quality you can wear it with slacks you can wear it with jeans leather pants a lot of options you can even wear a bodycon dress and wear this over it or put it over your shoulder i love the belted sleeves with the stench so you can make it even tighter that way the air doesn't go through here and keeps you warm my next leather jacket it's obviously black because oh my button got very loose I need to fix that because you can never have enough black leather jackets in life this is a very classic motorcycle pebbled leather jacket very durable doesn't get any scratches so this is like a heavy duty leather jacket i love wearing this in fall and winter it's just a very good fitted and this is ralph lauren but it's their polo line which is more affordable comparing to the purple label or the black label by the way all of these coats and jackets i scored them on sale i never pay full price so if you're thinking i went out there and spent two three thousand dollars for a jacket no honey i'm not gonna do that <laughs> this is my most favorite shaggy faux fur 
coat. I wear this all the time and I love it. It's just my cozy blanket. I wear it at work, running around, running errands, anything. Going to parties, gatherings. It's from H&M. Obviously, it didn't cost me anything. I only paid $25 last year. And I know they were super trendy last year, but I'm still wearing it because it's cozy, all right? And it's my favorite color. You can just eat a lot with this and nobody would know you're getting fat or anything. Like it hides everything. I love it. I wear it on airplanes and people like right next to me, they hate me. I know they hate me, but it's so, so cozy and I look like a sheep. Okay, moving on uh, to overcoats and my wool coats. This is a BCBG overcoat. Oh my God, I bought this like years ago, probably five, six years ago. And I paid a lot for this. So that's why I'm not getting rid of it. I need a lint roller. I just love this coat. However, it's pretty heavy. After a while, I'm feel like I'm about to lose my shoulders. That's why I don't wear it so often, but it's great because you can wear it in different ways. It got these double zip here, which you can unzip the bottom of your coat and make the coat shorter. I can zip it back. <laughs> I'm coming. You can wear it long it's very like classic i like the statement pockets they're obviously they're very roomy oh my god this is embarrassing i think the last time i wore this it was on airplane because i'm finding headsets in here and some like tissue and stuff oh, we don't want to see <laughs> okay so this is it it's very fitted i usually leave it open unless i'm super cold and i'm in the city like san francisco running around or i can as i showed you you can unzip this layer make it a little bit shorter or you can unzip even and take this panel out and make it a crop jacket and that's cute too but i've barely done it and i always wear it like this how about if you use it as a skirt hmm? just use the bottom you can't wear it as a skirt i can't right yeah dude i'm telling you oh my hips are big oh damn doesn't fit me no more no more no more no it does yeah, you Perfect close those too, and there you go you have a skirt Oh yeah, very stylish with the high slit. How do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> now that you sure. think about it, no, yeah, uh -huh. no. <laughs> okay. For like five, six years ago, it was like a good trendy piece that I can still wear, and it's not out of trend. So, <laughs> good job, Parms. Good job. So, how much did you pay for it? This was probably 600 something dollars or $800 for retail price and on sale I bought it for like 400. You're crazy. Yeah, I'm cray cray. I have to say, I shop way smarter nowadays comparing to like six, five, six years ago, so. Thanks to Mr. Martin. My next coat, it's a little bit more, to me at least, it's a little bit more dressy. I don't wear it as often. It's a wool coat. I bought it from Macy's, so very affordable. Again, probably five years ago. All of these buttons are getting loosened up on me. I don't know why. So this is like an elbow sleeve coat that you would want to wear when Oh my god, all these buttons. This is something you want to wear at like parties or you're wearing a dress underneath, tall leather gloves. It's pretty cool because you put this right over here and you get the little bowl right here. So it makes it 
more dressy and it got that loose look so even if you wear kind of like a gown a poofy little dress you can still rock this over your dress it gives me valentino vibes because of the bow and i bought it for like 60 bucks from macy's it's a no brand name i think it's like spencer or something like that i'm gonna look at it again but i just like the style of it i don't usually go for brands when i when i shop for anything if i like it i like it and i buy it so this is spence never heard of the brand but 65 worth the price and i still have it in my closet my next coat i've been wearing it a lot and everybody knows about this coat everywhere i go they can spot me from like thousand miles away it's my most favorite winter coat not too thick or too thin pretty warm for where i live and it's a good pop of color it's not your typical camel color or black coat that's what i love about it it has these um hidden snap buttons which i love because it makes it even more classic i bought this from Saks, and it was on sale again i think it runs for like seven eight hundred dollars and i bought it for around four the brand it's called harris wharf london it's a london based brand they only make coats like this they carry them in socks in a modern a collection section if you're wondering right next to hugo boss and um lafayette okay my very very last jacket it's my most recent purchase from zara zara is currently having their biggest sale of the season so i had to score this kind of my team kind of forced me to buy it i really love it and i'm not regretting it it's a big old puffer jacket with a faux hoodie underneath which is already sewn in so it's not a hoodie they made this out of recyclable materials recently it's been super cold in houston so i've been wearing it i love the open big pockets i can't put my hands here it's just a good you know <laughs> blanket makes me warm and i love it because my coworkers, they always have the AC on no matter what. And I'm freezing my ass off. So this is just perfect. Yup. Where is my igloo? I'm ready to go. When I bought this, it came with like a recyclable bag. We haven't opened it up. No, I think it's still in the box. The concept is pretty cool for a fast fashion company doing something like this. I really appreciate the retail price was one seventy nine, and I bought it for fifty nine dollar. Dollar make you holla, yeah. And it's super cute. All right, guys, this was it. I'm wrapping up this video. I hope you liked it. These are the seven staple jackets and coats in my closet that I always wear and I will never get rid of until they're tearing apart. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna link some fashion related video in description box if you're interested and make sure to check them out. They're very good. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Happy weekend, stay beautiful, and thanks for watching. Bye.